Hi everyone, I'm Swati from India Hikes. Today we're talking about a very important topic that you cannot ignore, especially if you're stepping into high altitudes. You could be going on a Himalayan trek, you could be going anywhere in the world into high altitude, or you could be going to Badrinath, Kedarnath, your Char Dham Yatras. You need to know about this important information about AMS. And to do that, I have with me Dr. Lakshmi Selva Kumaran. She is the head of the learning and development team at India Hikes. Drink a lot of water and you'll not get AMS. What are your thoughts? That is also another big myth. Um, but I would say it's, there is a certain truth to it. I, let me say what, what I mean by that. Okay. Um, hydration is very important. Um, given that we trek in the Himalayas, the weather is not the weather that you usually see in most other regions. You are wearing a lot of layers. You don't even realize how much you are sweating. So your body is actually lo losing a lot of fluids, except that you are not realizing that you are losing a lot of fluids. So yes, you might end up having dehydration. You might end up having uh, problems because of dehydration and it can possibly result in also additional symptoms of AMS because your just body is again getting very stressed right but there is no otherwise correlation between saying if I am hydrating really well I'm not at all going to get AMS it's not necessarily a direct link uh, and there has been no studies that proves that also this was a small part of a longer video we have covering the five most common myths about acute mountain sickness. If you are heading into high altitude, this video is a must watch so that you take care of yourself and stay away from acute mountain sickness. So head over there and watch the video right away.